Welcome to this virtual demonstration. In this video, we will show you how to couple the Lincoln THMS 600 temperature control stage to the RM5 Confocal Raman microscope. The THMS 600 is one of the most widely used heating and cooling temperature stages and has a range of minus 195 to 600 degrees Celsius. When coupled to the RM5, you're able to acquire Raman and photolensis spectra at both high and low temperatures. This video will show you how a Lincoln stage can be configured and mounted onto the RM5. We will then show you how the system can be controlled in Ramico and how you can acquire Raman spectra at the temperature that you require for your research. First, remove the transit screws from the base of the LNP96 liquid nitrogen pump unit. The transit screws should be stored and put back in the base of the unit if it is transported again. Then, place the LNP96 on top of the T96. The various electrical cables in your Lincoln system can now be connected. These include the stage lead, which goes into the T96, the connector between the T96 and the LNP96, the USB cable for PC control of the system, which goes into the T96, and the power cables for both controllers. To allow the stage to be secured under the microscope objective, it should be screwed to a custom mount designed to fit the motorised stage of the RM5. This mount is provided by Edinburgh Instruments. The Lincoln stage can now be placed on the motorised stage of the RM5 underneath the microscope. The standard mount for the RM5 can just be lifted off. Next, fill the liquid nitrogen Dura flask with liquid nitrogen. Close the lid and ensure it is locked. We can now connect up the Lincoln stage to the LNP96, the T96 and the liquid nitrogen Dura. For demonstration purposes, we will show you how each cable is connected to the Lincoln stage outside the microscope. Remember, the following connection should all be done by feeding each tube and cable through the hole in the external doors of the RM5 when the Lincoln stage is mounted underneath the microscope. Connect the tube from the liquid nitrogen Dura, then the cable to connect the T96. The double wall tube from the LNP96 can then be connected to the stage followed by the purge tube to the gas port on the stage. Finally, connect the nitrogen exhaust to the top window of the stage using the tube clip holder. The sample can now be loaded into the stage. Among the accessories are quartz sample substrates and a holder to position the sample underneath the microscopy window. In this video, we will be using a silicon chip. Open the door on the side of the stage and insert the sample, then close the door and secure it.
Next, turn on the LNP96, followed by the T96. To initialize the temperature control system in Ramico, select Setup, followed by Temperature Stage Configuration. Then click Initialize. You will now be able to change the temperature of the stage through Ramico. Before beginning measurements, it is essential to purge the stage with nitrogen gas. To do this, set the temperature to 30 degrees in Ramico, set the LNP mode to manual, and set the LNP speed to 100 to begin nitrogen flow into the stage. Then, connect a gas insert to the gas purge valve on the stage. Block the gas flow outlet with your finger and pinch the nitrogen exhaust while nitrogen flows into the sample chamber. Release only the gas outlet valve and then repeat this process for a few minutes. Remove the gas insert and set the LNP mode back to auto in Ramico. The temperature can also be changed to the starting temperature for your measurement. Now, focus the sample under the microscope. A high magnification, long working distance objective is best to focus through the window of the temperature stage and detect strong Raman scattering intensity. Here we are using a long working distance 50 times objective with a numerical aperture of 0.5. With the sample in focus, we can begin setting up a variable temperature measurement. The sample can also be set to a fixed temperature and different types of studies can be performed, such as mapping. Here we will set a start temperature of 200 degrees Celsius. In the Raman measurement window, we can now set up a temperature scan. Our measurement parameters have been preset, but we will use a 532 nanometer laser and a high groove density diffraction grating in order to obtain high resolution spectra of our silicon chip. We can also alter the range so that only the phonon mode of interest is being analysed. In the Temperature Setup tab, we can set the end temperature, the number of steps between the beginning and end points, the rate at which the temperature is changed, and the settle time between reaching the temperature required and performing the Raman measurement. This temperature scan is set to run from 200 to minus 100 degrees Celsius and record a Raman spectrum every 25 degrees Celsius after a settle time of 10 seconds. It's possible to add an additional temperature ramp and perform cyclic measurements. We can also control the temperature of the stage after the scan and can either release the temperature or hold it at a specific value. To begin the scan, click Start Temperature Ramp. As the scan progresses, the ram and shift position of the prominent silicon phonon mode increases as the temperature decreases and the full width half maximum decreases, both of which are consistent with literature reports for the material. We can now either export the resulting data, process it, or perform trend analyses showing how various spectral parameters change with temperature. To do the latter, select Peak Information, select Show Band, and ensure that the white box on the spectrum is covering your band of interest and set the X and Y axes accordingly. This trend analysis can also be exported to show more clearly how your samples change with temperature. In this video we showed you how to configure the THMS 600 Lincoln temperature control system and mount it onto the automized stage of the RM5 we also showed how it's possible to control the temperature of your sample using Ramico and perform spectra at both high and low temperatures. We hope you found it useful. If you would like to see any more content from Medium Instruments, please like and subscribe down below.